All right, now, Sunday the 16th of February, we'll see the iconic Franschhoek Huguenot Monument as the perfect backdrop for the uh, unusual visual acts of such a, a beautiful spectacle that is the bubble with uh, the electric cellist Carol Thorne's um, popular fusion band Coda Africa and the galaxy dress with saxophonist Judy Brown. Now, all the proceeds from this event, a wonderful event indeed, will go to the Franschhoek Hospice to assist with cancer victims. And they join us this morning to tell us a little bit more about this exciting exciting event indeed. Ladies, a very good morning and happy new year to you. <gasps> Thank you. We are still allowed to say that. Oh, we are. Right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I certainly hope so. But this is a very exciting concert that you're doing. Tell me about how, how uh, this all came about, the, 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 the hospice concert and your involvement in it. Well, um, I live in Franschhoek and I sit at a little coffee shop most mornings before work and mm -hmm. I got um, chatting and I kind of got roped into this idea of using the Huguenot Monument as a space for music. Yes. Um, and it's the third year that we're doing a concert Wonderful. there. And preceding that, there hadn't been a music event at the Huguenot Monument for 70 years. So it's a very special space and it's for a very, very special cause. Wow. And it's, um, yeah, it's, it's really something we'd like to give back a little bit and and do something in this it's just it's amazing to be in the bubble and look at the view i know people are looking at me but yeah. i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting a similar like great experience because <laughs> look at all those Franschhoek mountains that is absolutely yeah, exceptional is. beautiful stuff to behold it is an amazing setting as well with the with the lawns and the backdrop of the mountains yeah. and then we're also going to give them variety because we're going to give them the bubble and coda yes exactly and also the galaxy dress yeah. which is a dress Let, let's talk about the lineup Yes. Um, for the day, how you decided who's, uh, what you're going to play um, and why that particular uh, repertoire? Um, well, we want to start by warming them up slowly while everybody just settles on the grass and has a little picnic set out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start with some light jazz and, um, and then we're going to do some coda. Mm -hmm. And Coda Africa is going to be playing um, also some, some light, light jazz and some original music as well. Um, is that what I was hearing earlier on with, with the sound check? Yes, um, we've got some original music from our album Disclosure, which was launched a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and we're very excited to play some of those pieces. And then we're going to do Carol in the Bubble, playing mm -hmm. her original album called Fireflies in the Rain. And then I'll be playing some of my original songs from my album Liquid Sax. And I'm going to be in the galaxy dress. Oh, beautiful stuff. A nice variety. Tell me about how you came up with these ideas, the, the galaxy dress and the bubble. Because whenever I've been to events, they are always such a memorable moment, whether it is that you're arriving, you know, during the reception and there's the beautiful bubble, or you in the galaxy dress, or even, you know, during the, the, the performances where I'm, you know, where I'm doing Master of Ceremony duties. How did these ideas come about? Well, we, we're, um, oh, yes? we're very, I love creating like exciting visual things for us to perform in and on. And um, we love to take our music and then add that visual element to it. And I'm fortunately married to an architect, so he built the bubble for me. Oh, I think brilliant. He wanted, he just honey, wanted, I need a honey, massive honey, bubble. A bubble. And I think he just wanted me to be quiet for an hour. So he's like, get in that bubble and play the cello <laughs> for a whole bunch. And it works beautifully. Are there any other similar ideas that you have Cooking in the back well, of your mind. We do. We watch are the space. Busy. We um, <laughs> we always like to come up with new things, new yes. year and all that. So our new product is a beautiful dress that's made with like thousands of silk flowers, and it's gonna. We'll come and show you. Oh, it's you gonna must. be called the floral dress, the blossom dress. We need ideas. You absolutely you can, must. Maybe we can know, just throw it out there to our, throw it to out our there. viewers. We need, we need what would you call something? Once you've got a picture, send it to us, and okay, then we'll have we'll a poll on that. social media. Um, but also, the very important thing about this concert is that um, all of the proceeds are going towards the Franschhoek Hospice. Tell me about that. that that's a, a wonderful initiative. Well, as you know, having done so many wonderful events with you, we are fortunate to be booked for a lot of corporate work, mm -hmm. and we like to give back for one big, huge concert a year. So this is one that we organise with the hospice um, in Franschhoek, and it's, sure. we really feel that it's a fantastic charity. And I mean, for myself personally, and I'm sure we've all have friends who've benefited from hospice, yeah. and um, so we like to just give back in a in for this particular show. Yeah, what a meaningful way to do that as well. So the concert starts at 6.30 in the evening on the 16th of February. Tickets, how do we get involved? How do we come and enjoy and how do we help the cause? So um, it's very simple. You just arrive at the Franschhoek Huguenot Monument, which is at the end of the main road. You can get your ticket right there. It's 300 Rand mm -hmm. um, and you can bring your own picnic and children under 12 get in for free. Come a little bit earlier, come around 5 or 5.30 and mm -hmm. get your, stake out your spot yes. near the band. And um, yeah, and it's, it's just, I remember back at my coffee shop last year, 
sitting and hearing a table who weren't aware of me there saying it was the most amazing night of their lives. Really? And I eavesdropped and I heard this <laughs> and they said they would remember it forever so I will leave you with that. You should have pulled out your phone like, <laughs> can I quickly <laughs> record you saying that <laughs> for marketing purposes? Evidence. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now I'm saying it on Expresso Show. But it was a, it was a very um, satisfying moment as a musician and as somebody wow. who who, um, you know, supports hospice. So. That's absolutely beautiful. All right, so uh, be sure to be there nice and early, as you heard, 5 o'clock to stake out your spot. 4 o'clock is even better. <laughs> um, on the 16th of February at the Franschhoek uh, Huguenot Monument for the Franschhoek Hospi Hospice Music Concert featuring some very, very talented ladies. Uh, and it's going to be an absolutely wonderful day indeed. And, of course, we've got you performing live this morning, which is absolutely exciting. Uh, what a Monday, what a way to start our Monday morning.